Okay. Uh, one, two, three, four. God dang, there's so many. Huh. There are so many. Like, I get that it adds realism to everything, but I kind of don't like that you can nudge people on the street because it kind of slows you down just a tad every time you do so. Mm. Hmm. What should I do? Is something wrong to an Agasan? Buddy? Hello there, Kitty san I'm afraid there's something wrong. The leak in our roof has be really become a problem. How long has it been leaking? Oh, it's been years, but is it any wonder? If we couldn't afford the necessities, repairs were out of the question. But now it's bad enough to cause a draft, and the last thing I want is for any of the children to fall ill. I just don't know how I'm going to scrape enough money together to afford a contractor. How much do you need? Roughly 250000 but it may as well be millions. Our orphanage could never hope to achieve that. <laughs> In that case, you can count on me. Really, Kitty san Some flower was my home, Suenaga san. It's the least I can do to give the kids there and now the same comforts I had. Oh, Kitty san, thank you so much. I'll be here to accept donations at your convenience, or you can, of course, use the ATMs if that's easy. Got it. All right. Do I have the cash? Ooh, 22,000 shy. Oh, well, actually, I'm right next to ABC Pawn. I did get a few plates. So let's go uh, make some scratch. Can I sell my broken weapons? You don't say it. <laughs> well, I can't imagine using the stun grenade. Or gun. <laughs> what have you got to purchase? 100 pound bowling ball. Has never been used for actual bowling. A lampstand. It blinds people. That's cool. Alright, let's sell the, the other valuables we have to sell. Like this silver plate and this one bronze plate. We will keep we will keep Haruka's marble because reasons. It just feels right. She gave it to us for luck and love. I'm not about to sell it. She is basically our stepdaughter. Hey there, Sue and Agusan. I have some money for you. Oh, Kitty san is simply wonderful. You're too kind, Kitty san I can't say how much help you are to these children. Okay, there's 100,000 yen. There's another 100,000 yen. And here's the 50,000 yen. You're a saint, Kitty san This money will keep the children healthy and their futures bright. I'm happy to help. Yes. We'll ask for a worker right away and get it fixed. What am I going to do? Did the roof spring another leak? No, it's not that. Then what is it? Well, the contractor I hired to fix the roof just sent me his invoice and I'm shocked it came out to almost 5 million yen 5 million he said the whole roof was a hazard so he took it upon himself to fix a bunch of problem areas so then he raised his rate apparently the foundation was in danger of crumbling or so he said this is a crisis kid Yusan. I don't know what to do let me talk to this contractor I wish I could but I think he got frustrated by me he isn't responding to my messages anymore this is sounding more and more suspicious. I think you may have gotten scammed, Sui Nagasan. Yeah. What? Sorry, but before we pay another yen, I'm going to have a word with this contractor. Can you tell me where he, when he starts asking for the money? And try not to worry. I'm on it. I won't. Thank you, Kid Yusan. Uh, 
Hello, is this Kiryu san? This is one of the con artists from Everyday Renovations. That's short for construction artist, mind you. Uh huh. So Inagasan gave me your number. You'll be the one paying the five million we're owed. Let's slow down. We only hired you for two hundred fifty thousand dollars, two hundred fifty thousand yens worth of work. You can't fix things without asking and expect us to cover it. <laughs> Do you hear yourself, sir? We only did the, we only did the extra work out of the kindness of our hearts for the children. Well, then I shouldn't have to pay for the kindness of your hearts. You know, you're not the first to try a stunt like this. Are you trying to scam us out of an honest salary, sir? The only scammer here is you. That's a shame to hear, sir. Perhaps we should try to resolve this face to face. Oh, I'd be happy to. Where? Meet me in the northeast corner of the Champion District. We can discuss matters there. Wonderful. Yeah, the Champion District's alleys aren't where you go to talk. Perfect. Oh my gosh, Date-san. Like, part of me wants to freaking just go through the story just to get Date-san from uh, hanging out with me. Yeah. Spending money on so much food isn't always a good thing. Especially when I have to donate to keep the kids' futures bright. I might, I might need to head over to Taihei Boulevard. Actually, that's exactly what I'm gonna do because I have to cross through. I have to cross over Taihei Boulevard anyway. All right, I opened up approximately zero of the coin lockers in Kamurocho. Oh yeah, I knocked six thousand yen out of him. Bat, 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 bat. No, Date san! I wanted to. Uh, Kiri, you wanted to grab the cone? You were supposed to grab the hammer. Dang it, Kiri. Oh, yeah, I have a lot of keys for this. Dominion Royale. Oh, Locker Key Watcher, that's helpful. Break their legs with the crutch and hand them the crutch to keep walking. Works for me. Like, there absolutely has to be... Like, there absolutely has to be a um, way to repair your weapon in a, in a shop. Alright, extra money. Always a preach. Always a preach. Uh, my food is digesting quite well. Oh, yo, it's not something I have to equip now? So sweet. Hey, bro. He knew you I presume. 
That's me. As I said over the phone, you owe us five million, and I need to remind you that the contract that the contract was signed. And just as I said over the phone, we only ever agreed to pay two hundred fifty grand. We're not forking over a single yen past that. Hmm. Now that's a problem. We need you to pay, sir. That is, if you don't want to find out what happens to people who don't. Is that a threat? Look, friend, I suggest you pay up. You really want to find out who's down this rabbit hole? Who knows what might happen to the kiddies? Wait, did you just threaten a bunch of kids at an orphanage? You're going to regret that. Is that so? But again, it won't come to that if we beat the money out of you. Yeah, brother, that's not happening. Easy peasy, leave my brats alone. Alright, you win, man. What? Get the hell up and take him out. Do it yourself, asshole. I just figured out who this guy is. This is not my problem anymore. Uh... Oh, I suppose our service fee may have been a little unrealistic for an orphanage. Did you even repair any of the other problems you mentioned? Oh, well, you can't charge for something you haven't done. Right you are, sir. I'll cancel the invoice. I promise. Good. Oh, and here, and feel free to give me a call if you ever need work done, sir. I'll give you the best price in town, sir. Anyway, great doing business with you. Jerkwad. <clears throat> Hi, Uncle Kaz. The roof's fixed. All the children are really thankful for what you did for them. So they sent you a letter. I think Soinagasan has it. Grids really look up to me that much. Wow. I think mean, you, you're you're a great person. I can't drink anymore. Okay. You. You can't drink another drop. What's the matter with you, Kiryu? You some sort of lightweight. You are Kazuma Kiryu, the legendary dragon of Dojima. And you're saying a little. You're saying that little bit of alcohol is too much for your system? What? You still got child kidneys or something? Child liver? Okay, well, let's go finish off the Suenaga stuff, I hope. Oh my god, walls. Wait, is it because I'm drunk? Yo, I think it is because I'm a little drunk, is why he's controlling weird. <laughs> No? No. No. That was just me being bad, never mind. Oh, you are some big boys. Alright, but I am also a big boy. <laughs> Dante just got flung around like a crazy. <laughs> 
Oh man, they're just handing out money now. <laughs> They're just dropping money like it's issue, freaking going them. out of style. I don't want to fight. <clears throat> oh, Kiryu san, perfect timing. The contractor called to say he was canceling the invoice. That means the work was free. Sounds like it all worked out. How did you ever convince him? I guess I can be pretty convincing. Incredible, Kiryu san. For a man of such few words, you must be a really strong negotiator. Thanks to you, I can stop worrying about the children getting cold and sick. Ah, speaking of the children, they asked me to give you this letter. Believe it or not, Hayato-kun was the one who came up with the idea. Hayato, he's the boy who was pretty withdrawn, right? Yes, he's hardly the same person. These days, he's become a role model for those kids. And it's all because of you, Kiryu-san. I wouldn't say that. Sunflower has a way of making bonds grow stronger. Perhaps you're right. Well, I'm going to report back to the children. They'll be thrilled. Yay! Kiryu helps out the children. He is just a man among men, a paragon of male power. If you look up the word masculine manly man in the dictionary, you'll see a picture of Gaston. But right next to him, there's Kiri. <laughs> Building up heat in this game is actually it feels actually quite a bit easier. <laughs> oh, I think oh, I think I know what I need for that um for the bouncer stuff. I need the if it's in the game anyway, I need the accessory that Allows me to um heal when I stand still in combat. Oi. Come on, asshole, you aren't getting away that easy. Cool. Mm -hmm. I wasn't trying to get away, Mitsui san. I uh oh, I have a replacement on the way. How could I forget that? Haha, <laughs> silly me. Why don't you gents wait inside, okay? Uh -huh. Stop trying to weasel your way out of this. Oh. Hey, that's the guy, he's our replacement. Excuse me? Well, imagine that. Takasago is telling the truth, and he's our man in the flesh. You're playing for him, yeah? Right. They're right, right? You're here to play Mahjong for me, yes? Yeah. Um, I don't even... You're breaking my balls here, man. <laughs> <laughs> I'd think twice if I were you. Your buddy Takasago here has been in a real bad slump. You pinch it for him now, and you're staring at a thousand points. Lose even one hand, and you're done. Nanny. A thousand? <laughs> It'd take Mahjong. It'd take a Mahjong god to turn the tables now. Sorry, Takasago, but you're dead where you stand. Hey, I'm willing to make this more interesting. If you win, we'll clear every last end of this guy's debt. Bad chance, though. Please help me. I'll do anything. I've only really dabbled in Mahjong. But if you don't do this, I'm a goner. What are they gonna do to me when I can't pay up? I don't know how to play Mahjong. Ugh. Sure, I'll take your spot. Fine, I'll take your spot. Huh? You got a real heart. You got a real heart of gold, buddy. But if I win, you said you'd clear his debt, right? Uh. Sure will. But if you lose, his debt's going to the ceiling. Please don't lose. Now come on, let's get going. Four groups with three-time combinations and one pair. We're getting... I'm bad at this. I don't know what any of these mean. いい流れになってきたな。くそ。やってらんねえ。天宝。純粋。
正国士トリプルヤクマ Alright. Thank you, Peerless Tile. What the shit, man? You're like some kind of Mahjong wizard. I came in first, which means you'll clear Takasago's debt, right? Like hell we will. You have to do better than one win to pay off what this fool owes us. This bet was your idea, not mine. You can't just change the terms after you lose. Don't give me that preachy bullshit, man. Let's take this outside. Hold on. I realized while we were playing, I think this guy's Kazuma Kiryu. Huh? The dragon of Dojima? Not a name I choose to go by, but where were we? I believe you said something about taking this outside. Grr, let's get out of here. Sorry for dragging you into this mess. This is actually my first time playing here. I kind of just wandered in and they let me join in. I had a pretty good streak going, too. I figured it couldn't hurt to bet a little larger. But that's when they turned up the heat. I lost all my winnings, and then I was in the hole before I knew it. They played me for a fool, huh? As long as you know better to fall for it again. I won't be there to help you next yeah. time. Right. I'm done with gambling. And with Mahjong, I promise. Anyways, thanks for helping me out here. Later. Let me see what, like... I feel like that was the intended way to do that, but I want to check Okay, well, I don't play Mahjong. I would love to start playing Mahjong IRL. Because, like, just the sound of those... Just the sound of those tiles. It's so pleasant. Makes me think happy thoughts. Am I even going the right god dang way? You bet I'm not. Hey gents. How are you doing? How do they want me to get out of here? Oh, okay. By not stepping back inside, that's how. Here. Or here. Nice, 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 nice. Alright, can I leave this way? I can. Okay, sweet. Okay. Uh, how much money I got? 214,000. Stomach is empty. So, let's straight up and have a meal. An exceptionally large meal. We can splurge a bit. I just need... I just need the book. I need the book at 999 to increase my attack speed. Why do they have their meals on the second floor? Nah. 
What am I going to do? It's been months and still nothing. I heard I heard Yamauchi and Takanaka already have multiple offers. We're the only ones left. I'm up to 80 rejections now. My self-esteem is shot. Nothing's come through for me either. I never thought it would take this long. What are they talking about? Maybe we're just unemployable. There must be somewhere that will take us. Sounds like their job hunt isn't going so well. Hey, I saw something interesting by, at the train station the other day. Would you guys be up for a group interview? Uh, what? You mean all of us interviewing together? Yeah, we all go on at the same time and we take turns hyping each other up. Sounds way less stressful than a regular interview. I guess there's more than one way to get a job. Oh, that sounds awesome. I'd be way more relaxed with you guys in the same room. Where do we apply? Mm. I'm in too, but... Do you think we can really be ready on such short notice? In that case, how about we do a practice run? I know a place that does mock interviews. It's four people to a group, though. We'll need to find someone to come with us. Then let's give Masui a call. I bet he's still unemployed. Good idea. I'll get in touch with him in a sec. The mock interviews are held at a held at a spot in Park Boulevard. Let's get our confidence up and show the interviewer who's boss. Yeah, see you over there. Cool. Indeed. Hmm, one of them dropped something. Job Seekers Amulet. They were heading to Park Boulevard, right? If I head that way, maybe I'll deliver it. <laughs> Alright. Bring the students their amulet. That is something I can definitely do. Right, where do they say it was being held? Over on, all the way over on Park Boulevard? And I am... I guess I'm not terribly far from a taxi. Well, this shouldn't be too bad. Also, Date-san is getting his butt whooped. Fight me, you glorious golden piece of garbage. Oh no, he's gonna walk. No, I don't see too many Nubo Reach enemies. Please don't tell me he walked away. Please tell me he's still around. Please tell me I can still fight him. Yes. Fight me, you solid gold suit wearing jerk. I'll take 30,000 yen. 30,000 yen for like no work. Alright, students. You need your job seeker amulet of luck, so I'm going to deliver it to you. You can block all you like. Oh, Bob, get that for later. Maybe I won't. Oh, 
しばらく寝てろさあ行くかWhat do you guys got for me? Sorry about that. Thank you so much. Oh, another nice chunk of change. Mm, 24 away. Unfortunate. But I should get that from this. Good. Hey, are you here for the mock interview? Um, yes. Do you need something? I think you dropped this. My charm. I thought I'd lost it for good. That's some bad luck, losing your charm. Maybe that's why we're in this mess. Uh -huh. Hey, don't blame that on me. This is all Masuikun's cool. fault. Is something wrong? Well, we were supposed to have a mock group interview today, but our fourth dropped out at the last minute. Masu was supposed to join us, but apparently he got a job offer. He waited until now to text me, though, and the interview was in a few minutes. We need a minimum of four. After all that practice, too. <sighs> he left you guys in quite a bind. We would have been fine if someone hadn't dropped their charm. Uh -huh. Hey, don't pin this on me. It's not like you helped either. Huh? Enough, you two. Fighting won't solve anything. Hey, um, are you free right now? Why do you ask? Well, we're all pretty bummed out about not being able to do the mock interview. We practiced so hard. I was just wondering, well, if you'd be our fourth. Me? What are you thinking? You can't just rope a random stranger into this. But he looks professional enough. Besides, he was nice enough to bring back the charm, right? So, sir, I'm sorry to ask this of you, but could you help us? I'm not exactly a student. Ugh, we're hopeless. I wish a nice, cushy job would just fall into my lap. I don't want to see their practice go to waste either, but what should I do? We'll help them. Alright, as long as you're sure I'll fit in. You'll really help? Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. My name's Katayama, he's, he's Mayasawa-kun, and she's Mizuguchi-san. Uh. I'm Kitty. Are you sure about this, Katayama? This guy's, well, he's old. I don't care if he's 80, we just need a fourth. You're a lifesaver, Kiryu-san. Anyway, during the interview, you should try to say stuff that flows with what we're talking about. You know, to back us up. Then when it gets to your turn, just try to make us sound as good as possible. Oh, and thank you again, Kiryu-san. What have I gotten myself into now? Thank you all for coming today. Let's begin the interview. As this is a group interview, we'll have each of you take, take a turn to tell us about yourselves. So, shall we begin? We can start with introductions. I'm Takuma Maisawa. Maisawa. I'm Chika Mizuguchi. My name's Toshiki Katayama. Kiryu. Kazuma Kiryu. We're all very excited to be here, sir. It's nice to meet you. 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 Wonderful. An energetic greeting is a positive first impression for any potential employer. Now then, let's hear a little bit about your strengths. But don't get too carried away or you'll sound like you're bragging. Why don't you start us off, Maya Salkin? Hi. Maya Salkin. Well, I spent a lot of time in college playing futsal. It's basically five-on-five -five indoor soccer on a smaller field. I was so good they made me captain of the team, and we went on to play second in the citywide tournament. Being a team player is important. Agreed, and second place is a fantastic result. Mm. Maya Salkin had such incredible focus when he was playing futsal. I mean, I did make a lot of great friends on the team. The guys always used to talk about how I was a great social lubricant. He really helped, pe he really helped people get along. That's splendid, don't you think? My Sawakun has incredible social skills. He's really outgoing, too. Now that I think about it, I wouldn't even know Katayama-kun if my Sawakun hadn't introduced us. Hi. Great point. He's so good at connecting people and making sure they get along. I look forward to utilizing those skills in a more professional environment. Well, that's it for me. Thank you for listening. Great. You're next, Mizuguchi-san. My best asset is my cooking, for sure. Nobody can top my signature potato salad. Uh-huh. Not to be rude, but how exactly do you plan to apply that to a workplace? 
Um, well... It shows she's a diligent worker. If Mizuguchi-san can learn to perfect a recipe, she can do the same at her job. Right, you constantly have to multitask when you cook, too. I'm confident I can bring that ability to the workplace. Well said. I look forward to seeing where your career takes you, Mizuguchi-san. Moving on, is there anything else you'd like to tell us, Mizuguchi-san? Mm. Let me see. Oh, a year ago, I went on a soul-searching trip to India. It was enlightening. It's good to experience other cultures, learn their values, know their struggles. Exactly. Seeing how people live in India really opened up my eyes how to, how, to how narrow my view of the world was. I see. It sounds like that was a valuable experience for you. It was. I think back on what I learned there very often. Well, that's it for me. Thank you for listening. That was great. Thank you, Katayama-san. You're up next. Okay, now what to talk about. Ah, when I was in college, I became totally captivated by the field of robotics. That's a future-proof industry. Indeed, robotics is what drives society and possibly even the whole world forward. Didn't your research win some kind of award, Katayama? That's right. It had a pretty big impact on the academic world. Speaking of my research, I got pretty frustrated frustrated by it at times, but my teacher motivated me to push through that. Finally reaching my goal showed me the value of tenacity. As they say, persistence pays dividends. That's a great workplace attitude. Thank you. I'll use what I learned from my, robo from my robotics research to propel myself forward in the professional world. <laughs> I can't wait to see where you end up. Me either. I think back on my work very fondly. Well, that's all I have to say. I hope I've performed to your standards. That leaves us with you, Kiryu-kun. You're not exactly a recent graduate, are you? Right. I uh, decided to spend some time in the real world. So you're seeking a mid-career realignment, I take it. In that case, I have a few questions for you. First, what was your previous occupation? Hmm. Well... I used to be in real estate years ago. Mm -hmm. Real estate, that's a surprise. May I ask what your role was? I actually managed the entire firm. I recruited staff, structured my team, and delegated assignments all to compete against the five evil billionaires. Wow, experience like that will no doubt prove valuable for any company. For your second question, Kiryu-kun, let's see. Why don't you tell us where you see yourself in the next five or ten years? In other words, do you have any career ambitions? Hmm. I'm actually thinking of starting an orphanage. Helping those who can't help themselves has always been one of my strong suits. What a splendid goal, Kiryu-kun. You must truly care about children in need. Kiryu-san has shown us nothing but kindness for as long as we've known him. Interesting. I must say, Kiryu-kun, that changed my opinion of you somewhat. Looks like our time is up. Does anyone have anything else to say? One more thing, yes. Thank you for having us. 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 Wonderful. A pleasant farewell is a perfect way to close an interview and ensure you're memorable. Well, everyone, that brings our mock interview to a close. Thank you all for your hard work today. That brings our mock interview to a close. Let's see how you did. You know, that was perhaps the best mock interview I've ever conducted. You guys are ready for the real thing. Just wait outside for a few moments while I prepare. You don't mind sticking around, do you? Of course not. We did it. You saved us, Kiryu-san. I never thought a mock interview could turn into a real opportunity. This is incredible. I'm happy for you guys. We couldn't have done it without your help, Kiryu-san. Thank you for sticking with us. I'm forever in your debt. We'll never forget you. I hope your next interview goes just as well. But I should probably step out. We totally understand. I know this isn't much, but we owe you one. Big time. We should get back up there. Right. Oh, and about that stuff you made up. Oh, and about that stuff you made up about yourself was incredible, Kiryu san. You almost had me convinced it was real. But it was real. <laughs> Ultimate combo speed. Hunger Gauge Max. Digestion Max. Okay. I have not saved in an incredibly long while. That would have sucked. Alright. Alright.